England hold nerve to beat New Zealand by four runs. Lead ODI series by 2-1. Ken Williamson, who needed a six of the final ball to win the game, or a four to secure a tie, failed to make contact and finished 1-12, not out with his side on 2-30-4-8, to leave England with a 2-1 lead in the five-match series. Ben Stokes' brilliant diving catch proved the catalyst for a spectacular middle order collapse, while Chris Oakes bowled a superb final over as England beat New Zealand by four runs in their third one-day international on Saturday. The hosts had looked comfortably placed to chase down England's 234 when Stokes turned the game as spinners Moin Ali and Adil Rashid took five wickets for 23 runs between them in the space of 41 balls. New Zealand captain Ken Williamson, who scored his 11th one-day century, however combined with Mitchell Santner to hold the slide and then gave the hosts hope of achieving a remarkable win with the 96 run partnership. Santner was then unlikely run out for 41 when Oaks got his hand to a straight drive from Williamson and deflected the ball back onto the stumps leaving the all-rounder stranded and New Zealand 199 for 7 with 4.4 overs remaining. Tom Curran and Oates then bowled brilliantly at the death, with the latter restricting Williamson from scoring the 15 runs needed to win in the last over. Williamson, who needed a 6 of the final ball to win the game or a 4 to secure a tie, Failed to make contact and finished 112 not out with his side on 230 for 8 to leave England with a 2 1 lead in the five match series. Brilliant game of cricket, England captain Owen Morgan said. Our spin twins did a fantastic job. The pressure shifted a little bit with the Williamson Santner partnership, and it was a tight game that could have gone either way. All of England's batsmen had got starts but only Morgan looked comfortable on the drop in pitch that appeared to be too paced and providing inconsistent bounce as he top scored with 48 and shared a 71 partnership with Stokes. England's lower order however accelerated with Josh Butler smashing 29 from 23 balls before he became leg spinner Ish so this third wicket in the 43rd over and the bowlers then added another 50 runs in the final 7 overs. New Zealand had been comfortable at 80 for 1 in the 18th over with Colin Munro on 49 and Williamson on 28 before Stokes then produced his catch at cover to dismiss the opener of Rashid. Moin, who took wickets on successive deliveries and Rashid then took 3 wickets for 1 run between them to leave New Zealand floundering at 98 for 5. We were in a position of strength at one stage but lost a lot of wickets and that hurt us and we had to take the game even deeper. Williamson said our plans kept changing as we lost wickets. They deserved to win, just a shame we got so close.